Man, I love the accuracy of a bolt gun. Aero Precision has a new one called the Solus, and it's a complete rifle, but you know they have a heritage in doing gun builds and offering lots of parts and pieces for builders. And KJ can't help himself. He wants to do his own custom version. So today on BuildBox, it's a custom bolt gun build. You'll never guess where I found the key. I got a few guesses. <laughs> All right, guys. You're gonna like this one. And KJ, this is gonna look a little familiar to you. Yeah. Bolt gun, huh? This was sitting in your office. Figures. So like a lot of people, uh, you've been assembling and, and amassing Dude, parts. I'm like a squirrel with acorns. Bolt guns. All right, Chris, when you think bolt guns, what do you think? Remington 700. Uh, I mean, if I was going to build one, yeah. because I could yeah. find the parts. If you're doing a bolt gun build, a lot of a lot of people do a Remington 700 pattern. It's just standard. Lots of aftermarket yeah. stuff. It's accurate. There's millions of them out there. It's proven. If you're going to do a gun, I mean, I know you've been planning this. So what do you want in a bolt so gun build? The plan out of this build is I love hunting. I love bolt guns. The Remington 700, standard. I want short. I want light. Easy to carry in the field, but most of all, it's got to be accurate. Got to be accurate. Well, you got the the beginnings of accuracy right here, but I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't threaded to make to go into the action. It's not. Nor is it chambered, and this is not something that we can do here in the box. No, uh -uh. and luckily, I've got a guy. What's up, Todd? How you doing? What's that, man? Good to see you. Firearms. You remember Chris? <laughs> what is up with this? Nice shop, man. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, 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 you, you, cool. you haven't been here. Uh, I forget. Uh, <laughs> I tend to forget that. All right, so we brought you something good. Okay. Um, this is a hunting gun that I'm doing off of a like a Remington 700 footprint. Okay. Using the Aerosolus action. Every nice. good build starts with a good action. Right? Yeah, and I, and I have not used one of these yet. I've been not yet. looking for somebody to bring one around, yeah. Well, I guess. I'm, we'll check it out. I'm the guinea pig. Yep. So what are you gonna check on that? We'll just check everything to make sure they're straight. We'll definitely check the lugs lapping, make sure that they, they're contacting good. And then uh, if it needs to be blueprinted, we will. So well, what, is, what's involved with blueprinting? Squaring the face, okay. chasing the threads out, uh, just making sure everything's A little aligned. bit more involved, making sure it's, yeah. it's squared. But generally, you're going to do that with factory actions. This should be custom. Sweet. Yeah. Here's a tricky part that Here's, I can't do myself. So <laughs> carbon chamber. fiber. Yep. Got a chamber. One of my favorite companies, too. I'm thinking 6.5 Creedmoor. 6.5 barrel. What's the cut length going to be, 18, 20? It's going to be 18 inches. And I know, I know, I'm losing. Would you be I'm, shooting, shooting it suppressed? Yes, shooting well, yeah, it suppressed. So keep it short, but, keep it light. Yes, yeah, see, he, he gets it. Bottom metal? Sure. You're going to do that next? Yeah. Hawkins? So we got the attachable Hawkins bottom metal. Yep. M5, attachable box mag. Yep. Pretty easy? Yep. And then... And then, here. All right, so we went with Wooks. I like them. They're nice. They're nice. Have they're, you they're used? Elaborate. Have you done anything with one yet? I've uh, m assembled them for a couple guys. Okay. But n not more than that. But never Cerakote. We're gonna them? paint it, right? We are gonna paint yeah, okay. it. Okay. Uh -uh. Right on. That's the goal. Is I want to paint it. I'm thinking, this is gonna be a hunting rig, and this is gonna be something that I'll be able to take out. Yeah, we'll do something that accents the wood colors that stay with it and then maybe throw in like a little yeah. hunter's orange somewhere to kind of okay. pop, make some pop happen. Yeah, yeah. I want it to pop, but I, I really want to cool. keep that that traditional look of the wood because that's yeah. one great thing about it. We're going to paint the wood. We're going to just do the metal. I guess what we'll do is we'll leave you to it. We will be back to see how progress goes. Right on. <laughs> All right, man. No, we'll you will. It. All right, be well, good man. Deal. Be well, be well. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, All right. bet. Y'all have a good one. Good. Man, you got some good stuff. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You have options when you're building a bolt gun. You can actually have a pre-fit barrel. You can even have it barreled action. Everything's put together already. Now on this build, we're going a little bit more custom because we've got the secret weapon, Todd, with maniacal firearms. So he did a barrel blank and he's going to cut the chamber and rifle it and the whole deal. And what he's gonna do is not just cutting the SAMI spec of the chamber, it's actually gonna be a little bit tighter tolerance. It's gonna help you be more accurate. It's gonna be gentler on your brass for reloading. And of course, it's fully custom at that point. So you have options if you're doing a pre-fit build, maybe a little bit more DIY, or a full custom build on a blank barrel. Build Box, brought to you by ATN. Ballistic Advantage and Silencer Central. What's up? I'm not interrupting a fine cut, am I? Nope, I was just finishing up the turn on it. Sweet. So, well, what are y'all doing back so soon? Ah, yeah. you need this, right? Yes, this, yeah. It, that's the silence Fitment essential. for the muzzle. Yeah. You make sure well, we get a nice, good. Are you even close to doing that? Because I know I we kind of interrupt. We'll get bit. to it today. Yeah. Okay. We'll get to it today for sure. I'm gonna definitely stick around for that. So, so what have you done so far? So dialed everything in uh, with the barrel. Uh, we go to, to the 10,000th on it. This one was okay. dialed in to zero. So 10,000th, so roughly what is that? Take a sheet of loose leaf paper and yeah. fillet it 30 or 40 times. No kidding. Yeah. Fillet. That fillet. That's Louisiana for fillet. <laughs> fillet. Gotta, fillet. Well, we are in Louisiana. <laughs> we gotta fillet it. <laughs> And yeah. so that's not staying that color, right? That's no. a little too close. That's to just LSU marker. Purple. Yeah, go Tigers on that. It looks like die cam to me, but it could be LSU purple. It is die cam. Okay. That's so we Good. can check our thread count once we do a little light right. pass on it. All right. So, so you faced, faced it? it? Yep. Squared off to the center line of the bore. Check the curvature on, on the bore. So we have it marked B for bottom, T for top. Okay. Now, what does that mean to people that are interested in this? So no bore is truly straight through. They always okay. have a little bit of an arc to them because of tooling. So we can measure that by the run out on the outside, on the outboard end of the lathe. Mm -hmm. So when we check that, we measure it again and then we mark it here so that the curvature of the bore is, is in line straight up and down with the action. Okay. We don't want it pointing to the left or right. You no. know, hunting rifle that's uh, like this, 18 inch, not really made for thousand right. yard shooting. Closer in, it's not as right. critical but we only do things one way. Right, the accurate way. The accurate way. The, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Like Mr. Gordy said, the bench rest standards. So who you did know? you learn all this from? This Mr. Is, Gordy Gritters. Really? So yeah. Because this is a lot of fine detail and a lot yeah. of technical. And He's a when great I, instructor though. When I've watched you before, man, it, might, it almost makes my stomach turn into knots because it's so technical and you have to be so dialed in on this. It is. It's a. Um, it's a process that if the steps are followed right, yeah. and you can and you repeat them over and over, then you get repeatable outcome. Right. You know, which is very accurate, precise. Jeez. So how are you going to get that to time out on that shoulder? What are you going to do after you cut the? Thread? We're going to thread it all the way close to the shoulder, and then we're going to screw the action on and see where it falls out in it. And then we have a you know math equation for the threads per inch that we will math. extend the the shoulder back if we need to keep turning and we'll just so, take it off, make it back to the same So you side. just keep cutting threads or what yeah. do you do no, at we're the gonna end? Cut, cut a relief? No, we're gonna, yeah, after we get the threads and we'll cut a relief cut after. Okay. Wherever we end up with the shoulder, we'll but cut a relief there's cut. there's math involved. Yes. See, this is why uh, I don't do this. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I cut, I'm out, I don't want any more of it. Um, so what's the, what's the next step in the process? So after this, we get this uh, threaded, fit up, timed, then okay. we'll do a pre-bore and chamber it the rest yep. of the way, then we'll flip it around, do the muzzle in, threaded Beautiful. for the suppressor and crown. We'll do 11 degree Perfect. target crown. And then everything is put in the paint. Excellent. So oh. how's, speaking of paint, how's that going? Yeah. Well, so we're already getting things prepped ready, but you're not involved in that because we got something a little special that we're gonna do. That means two of us are going, going to check it out. Come on. Later.
This, this is awkward. Yep, really awkward. Man, it's not easy getting rid of that guy. No. no. But this is what we wanted to do, kind of something that he didn't know it was coming, so. All right, cool. So I'm seeing all kinds of things here. You got fixings, yep. as we say in the South. So tell me what you're fixing to do with these fixings. Well, these are the colors that we're going to use, but we're also adding a, a custom color that I'm going to mix that be somewhat midnight bronze, but a little darker. Really? Yeah, and then the bright orange is going to be accent for like screws and There'll be a little bit in the blend, too, to kind is of that gonna, Is that going to look like, I don't know, man. I don't man, know. trust me. I have to trust you, because you're the all the time. I know, I know, I know. This burnt bronze is my absolute favorite. It's color. one of my favorites, too. So how, these decals, you already got yeah. them come out, cut out? Yeah, they're going to be, we're going to stencil them in layers. So we'll have a blend at the bottom and then a couple layers on top of different colors. But they'll be kind of stacked and. You got a machine that does this? Yeah. All in house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got this stock. It's already stripped down. You've uh, obviously blasted it a bunch. I pulled it out yeah. of the cabinet, and I'm thinking to myself, no way, no way could I do this to several hundred dollar stock and just destroy it. It doesn't bother me because I didn't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I think we got a great plan. I'm not so sure about the orange. Mm -hmm. You got the rest of the parts hanging up in the back? Yep. Let's go see. Come on. This is neat. You got it all strung up. Tell us about the process because there's a lot that goes into this. Yeah, right. So first it's all chemical bath. Then it's blasted down, sandblast. Uh, we use aluminum oxide. It's most compatible okay. with the Cerakote. Then we're gonna come in, paint, do a two coat blend, and then we're gonna start stencils. So that's one, two coats, put two colors put on together, then 20 minutes in the oven, 20, a few minutes out to cool before we can handle it. Then we start laying the layers. You've been doing this for a while and you had to get trained. I mean, this is not easy. Eight years, it took it took me a year to get into the training course. Really? Yeah, it's, it's that desirable. Um, and this stuff's all going to fit back together after you put it on? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's not going to grow and have it. Well, that's it's the beauty paint. of Cerakote. I've never, I've been painting my whole life, and I've never seen anything that can cover in less than a thousandth of cover, of material. That's un absurd. Yeah. So now we're going to do it where we're going to do the outside. The interior stuff will get one coat, but all the outside where the stencils are going to go, it's going to obviously be more than a thousandth. But we're going to build it slowly and precisely so we don't have any edges. We don't want to feel the pattern. We just want to see it. That's what you were saying. Like when you're done with it, you can't even feel or tell that there's layers. That's one of the things there's that separate no the good guys from the bad. No clear coat? No no final clear to smooth it out? No. Nope. All right, well, this is cool. So you're going to put the first coat on. I am going to hang out outside because I want to see the very first stages of the process. Yes, absolutely. I can't hang around forever. How long is this going to take? Uh, it's a day. It's going to take me most of the day to get them all laid because we got cure time and all this stuff going back and forth. So, All right, well, I'm going to stick around and watch some of it, yep. but not all. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. All right, man. So what is a chassis and why are they so popular these days? Well, like a lot of things, it comes from the competition world. We see it in cars and we certainly see it in shooting. The competition shooting technology drives what us regular gun guys are looking for. So a lot of features here. And that's another reason why chassis are so popular. You have fully adjustable stock. You have a lot of other features. You have the grip built in, you have the thumb rest, you have a full Arca rail, because these are typically all aluminum. You can do a lot of different things. You have no bottom metal, it's all built in. Another thing about a chassis system versus a traditional stock is you don't have to bed it. Traditional stock, you have to bed the action in the barrel to make it work, but you don't have to do that with this. So it's a lot more friendly to the DIY gun builder or even the custom builders like Todd. Chassis, yep, they're popular, for good reason. How are you gonna get all of these on all of that? Very carefully, but randomly. How long is this gonna take you? Each color, 20 minutes, 30 minutes per color. So you don't put all these on right now? No, no, because we're gonna, all this is for multiple layers of colors. And we got them different size. Okay. Because of different size areas, right? So, you know, naturally, 
this is gonna be in here, so we want our pattern to run through it all. Oh boy. Right? Do you need a razor to cut them or anything? You got Because you gotta trim them, don't you? Nope. You know, one of the hardest things is making things that are not random look like they're random, right? Yeah. So those, they're gonna stick. Oh yeah. These are high temp stencils. Mm -hmm. So they're made to go in the oven and they're also low tack. So they don't leave any residue behind either. So after these are on, what happens next? So we'll go back in after a layer of these. We'll move to the next color. That's why this always looks reversed. So when you look at something that's Cerakoted with a pattern, whatever looks like it's in the front was actually what was done first. Mm -hmm. So this will look like the foreground after it's painted. Okay. So we'll take our last color will be what we want to be the background. You don't got that one on all the way. Can I touch that? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm not gonna stay for all that. <laughs> but uh, you bring the gun over to the build box and we will surprise KJ. Yep, we'll give him a new cool paint job and I we'll do the assembly all over there. I wish it was mine. <laughs> Good seeing you. Build Box, brought to you by Luth AR. Range Ready. And Timney Triggers. All right, Todd is on his way. All right, how about KJ? Oh, I told him to wait outside. I am so excited to see this thing. I can't wait to see it. I mean, the stuff that you guys mostly have been doing, the DIY stuff is great, but Todd is a pro. I know, but the colors, man. I was down at the studio, I looked at it, I saw the colors, and I'm looking at it, and that orange, I'm like, Ugh, you know, and I, but the- There he is. He's not a pro, he's there an he artist. Is. Mr. Ryan. <laughs> Welcome in, man. Good to see y'all. Hey, you artist. brought the goods. Yeah, I brought a few things. Where, oh where's KJ? Oh my gosh. Apparently he's sweating in the sun. Ooh. Okay. Wow. I'm liking this. A little custom midnight bronze. Midnight bronze and a thread protector. I'm liking this orange. Accent. Now see, I didn't even know. You said orange, I'm going, what? Orange? Dude, this looks like plastic. The good stuff is under the towel, right? Yeah. Oh, Todd, wow. Oh. All right, there's a difference between kitchen table gunsmithing and a professional. <laughs> And I have to apologize for saying that <laughs> before you got here. I told y'all to take care of it. All right, let's put this thing together. I gotta see it put together. Todd, I'm blown away. I've never even seen a gun that looks like this. Wow, all I can say is one word, sexy. It's gorgeous, but I know that you are not just about the beauty. Nah, it's gotta shoot as good as it looks. Guess who's gonna shoot it? Mr. KJ. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mr. KJ. I Hello, hear hot. Serino. I, I hear Ryan. All right, should but I? But what about Todd? Yeah, wait, Todd's I'm coming? Here. Ready? All right, look. I kept my eyes closed. I don't know why. <laughs> Holy sh... I better not cuss. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude! I know. Look at this up here, too. 
Look, all oh these little gosh. touches. There's so many little touches on this. Like I'm like almost like legit almost tearing up because it's beautiful, dude. Awesome. That is amazing. It's the reaction I like. Yeah. Dude, I, <laughs> holy crap. Like I'm like shaking. Well, I'm sure you guys want to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> you need to shoot it. Yeah, you definitely need to shoot it. I'm not shooting this one. Because you know, dude. he doesn't I'm make going, them just pretty. He makes them pretty, but he is the expert. And I really want him to take these shots. I really want Yeah, but it's Todd. your baby. It is my baby, but you, you gotta... are its birth father. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want you to get over here. I want you to do this. Got it. <laughs> I just want to look at it. Yeah. Like, oh my God. It's one of those that the more you look at, the more you're going to notice stuff. Yes. Oh yeah, let's get gosh. some ammo. Yeah, out. let's go. <laughs> to see all of Gun Talk's content, go to GunTalk.com, GunTalkTV.com, or sign up for the Gun Talk newsletter.